You are the 2021 national spokesperson for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And then they've, they've got a really cool partnership that they're doing with Jiffy Loop. So tell us what you, how you fit into the mix of this. MDA and well, Muscular Dystrophy Association, Jiffy Loop, they've had a partnership for 10 years now, which is, you know, a big thing. And for the 10th year, we're doing our uh, annual fundraiser campaign called Drive to Do More. And uh, it's really easy to do. It's simple to participate. Uh, for any person, you know, that's at a Jiffy Lube, they're participating places for the uh, fundraiser. If you donate $3 or more, you get a service book. You get a service book for Jiffy Lube services in return. And really, that's really the first thing you do. And then after that, I mean, all the proceeds, firstly, will go to all the 150 care centers across the nation that uh, MDA funds. And to learn more about it, you just go to mda.org slash Jiffy dash Lube. And I really, it's that simple. So it seems like you've you've been busy. How's it been mentally <laughs> and physically, I guess, getting ready for the season coming up soon? Uh, honestly, it's just, uh, you know, it's another year. Every year is a big year in the NFL. And that's what I'll say. Uh, I'm not going to say it's any different with a contract year and all that. I can't say it's any more different than uh, the years before because every year is important. So I really just been working hard and uh, I know I'll put the work in. So whatever happens, uh, I, I can't have any regrets about it because I know I'll put the work in. What's the locker room reaction been like with the new NFL COVID protocols? I'm sure, ha has it changed your guys' mindset coming into the season at all? Sheesh. Uh, yeah, the locker room, uh, you know, we're, there, it's half and half. Uh, some guys want to get vaccinated, you know, for the safety of their families. Some guys, you know, are on the fence about it. And some guys just want to know more research. But, I mean, all of yeah. us really were um, – I think we're all really just ready to play football and, you know, hearing about the vaccine and all this COVID stuff. We're really all of us, probably all of us in the NFL, we're really not trying to hear any more about the vaccine, yeah. any more rules for COVID. We're really just really ready to do do what we love and play the game we love. Whatever the athlete does, I just hope we all get the support because we're all making that decision based off, you know, our body and our body being our money maker, you know, to hopefully change generations of wealth in our family and, you know, playing the game we love too. So I hope no matter what every person decides, I just hope. We just have the support of our fans and coaches and uh, family members backing us. This year is going to be year two for Jonathan Taylor, and we've seen how good he can be down the stretch. What do you think his ceiling is this year? Or how good he can he actually be? I think JT takes the next step. Uh, you know, as a rookie last year, he was learning the game. Uh, but at the end of last year, you could see things starting to come around for him. So uh, mm -hmm. I think he takes J the next uh, great step. I think JT is a great player and probably one of the rising stars in the NFL for running back. So uh, honestly, I'll be there to support him and, you know, cheer him on. And then, uh, watch him do what he does. But I mean, I'm excited to, you know, come back and watch myself, Marlon, Jordan, all of us work in uh, JT as well. And uh, I truly do believe that we have the best backfield in the NFL of not one of the best. So uh, we got to go out there on film and prove that there's been a lot of hype and I've seen a lot of stuff talking about our backfield, but uh, it's about time for us to go out there and back it up. And that's what we're looking to go do. Yeah, we had earth, wind and fire in New York back in the day between you, Mac, uh, JT, do you guys have a nickname? No. Uh, maybe we'll work on something. Uh, I've seen some things on Twitter from fans, like the Hydra, <laughs> like, the, you know, the uh, the three-headed uh, beast from uh, Hercules. Uh, yeah. Three-headed monster. I've seen all those things, but uh, maybe we'll come up with something cool. But I just know we all want to go out there, uh, run yeah. the ball hard, and score some touchdowns. You know, we got those big boys up front who, who are really good, and, uh, you yeah. know, each of them are improving. So uh, we're really excited to see how far we can take this run game. It seems like everyone is hyping up the Titans right now because they got Julio. Do you feel like the Colts are kind of being slept on? We, we get slept on every year. It's a good thing. We like it. Uh, not, even last year, we were a good team. Didn't have a lot of primetime games. Uh, we don't really care about that. We play who's in front of us. Uh, Tennessee, they're a great team every year. So uh, yeah. there should be a lot of hype behind them. They, you know, they've had they want to playoff games, and uh, it's been it's been a great battle between them. You know, every every year we've been going, it's back and forth. We win one game, we lose one game to them. So you know, maybe this year we'll get a sweep. But uh, great team, you know, great offense, great defense, great coach. You know, Coach Vrabel's a great coach, a great player as well that he was, and. Uh, I'm excited to play them. I know we play them like week three or we have to go down there or something. But, uh, you know, we mm. every you know our schedule is tough. Every team we play is hard. And, you know, our divisional games are going to be all hard. So uh, looking forward to the battle and the challenge. Well, hey, before we let you go, we want to do a fun question and answer superlative game with oh, you. I love these. So <laughs> who is most likely to cut the line at lunch? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Zach Pascal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Most likely to stay up playing video games. I'm sure this one's a tough one. Me. You, <laughs> you already just rat on yourself. Okay. Most likely to pull pranks on his teammates. Uh, dang. I would say Jacoby Brissett. He's not our team anymore. Um. Yeah. Oh, Ty. Ty Hilton or uh, Paris Campbell. Okay. Most likely to be dubbed coach's pet. You're gonna have to call someone out for this one. 
<laughs> can't really say coach's pet, but I guess any quarterback. I mean, all the quarterbacks talk to Frank, yeah. that, you know, that quarterback uh, relationship. So yeah. maybe Carson or uh, Sam or uh, Jacob or one of our backups, but definitely the quarterbacks. You know, they get that love. You know, they get the red jersey on. You can't touch them. Yeah. one of them. Okay, last one. Most likely to be caught posing for the photographers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can, oh, Kenny Moore, uh, Joey Blackman. I mean, a okay. lot of our DBs and receivers. They, they they have some really cool Instagram posts. I wish I was that cool. It's just that group of people. Okay, that's funny. So <laughs> that DBs and wide receivers are the big heads. Okay, that's yeah. funny. <laughs> hey, well, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.